guys, welcome back to the channel, Yacht Crafter, and today I have floss tube. So I have my box of stitching all here, and first I want to show you my progress on the mermaid. hopefully see that I've started a bit more progress on the moon going up here and I've finished off the back of Ariel uh, flowing hair and starting to fill that in and I'm absolutely loving this um, we had a zoom tutorial um in this pattern there is some french knots and yeah i keep practicing and i keep trying and i was very generously gifted some beads and a beading needle so we had a zoom tutorial of how to do the beading so instead of the french knots for this pattern we're going to put some uh, beads on some uh, like golden yellow and i think there's some uh, white ones as well there's some speckled in the moon and some up round by ariel for this uh, pattern but I'm absolutely loving doing this uh, stitch I'm really really enjoying doing it and working from the pattern and seeing everybody else's progress that's doing it as well because there's a few of us that are doing it and yeah, some of us that are, are going to get started very very soon so yeah we're enjoying working on that so next I will show you the mint purple, the black work stitch alongs. So first of all we have last year's, so 2020 and I did that block there, this uh, rectangle. Um, I did that Wednesday afternoon, um, no it was Wednesday tea time, um, I uh, got set on with it and yeah, I was doing that Wednesday after tea, so I enjoyed doing that one but um, I think I mentioned last time I think because I rushed last week's trying to get them both done Thursday morning ready for floss tube I don't think I enjoyed it as much and I was getting quite frustrated with it and so I find that if I take my time say for example do last year's on the Tuesday and then this year's either Wednesday night or Thursday morning before recording floss tube that I enjoy it more I can sort of relax and enjoy the pattern and yeah concentrate a bit more and don't feel as rushed so I found that I've enjoyed this week's more because I've taken time and and done them um this is this year's and I did that square there like a flower a flower pattern um, but like I said I did this one uh, last night because obviously Thursday Thursday is floss tube so yeah I uh, did that one last night and again really really enjoyed it next oh yes 
<laughs> I have actually started the new start. I've been saying for the last couple of weeks that I wanted to start the Peppermint Purple Black Works Star and last week me and Crafty Chris got together and started it. Um, I think we're going to do a little bit more this afternoon. Um, we're going to have another another chat and then on Friday on well we're actually going to do the chat on Friday but um Chris has got something she needs to do so we'd organized to get together with Danielle um have a bit of a our own crafters chat and get a little bit on with it and things like that so but I'm gonna have a chat with Chris today because like I say she's busy tomorrow being friday but i think i'm still going to have the chat with danielle just do it me and danielle so i've got one of the middle bits of the star done this blue color and i've just moved on to this uh greeny uh tealy color um i have a couple of um needles loaded up and ready to go and but like i said i've just started the second point of the inside of the star so this is again another one i'm really enjoying because just chatting with friends and you know sometimes <laughs> we found out last week that sometimes we go a bit quiet and you know reading reading the pattern and but then we get on to chatting again and really, really enjoying that one. So, yeah, I actually started my new start. <laughs> um, regarding Peter Rabbit, um, I have started... Oops. I have started... Jemima Puddle Duck. Um, I have done the video and that's all ironed on. I just need to do the detailing for the face. So there's a, a split line on the beak um, and then there's the eye to do and then I can start the second patchwork patch which I think is the windmill patch it here actually but yes it's the windmill square so this is issue four that i need to record so i'm probably going to get on with that today when i've recorded this i can finish off doing the details on the face and then i can get then recording on that one um i've had a delivery yesterday um looks like a harshet delivery it's the black um pack so i've also got that to record um i'm waiting for the cross stitch magazine to come in the post so when that comes i, I can record that um that should be any day it's kind of usually the middle of the month uh when that comes in so when that comes i've got that to record um so yeah um when i finish this and while it's editing and um yeah i'll probably get on with a bit more cross stitch then when it's edited then i can start and do my other recordings so yeah i've uh, <laughs> got quite a bit to be getting on with um so yeah i shall uh stop waffling and let you guys go um 
another quick um, floss tube video. Um, I uh, yeah, <laughs> got quite a bit to be getting on with. Um, I also wanted to mention a couple of um, other stitching projects and things that I've been looking into. So let me get up on my phone. One of the projects I was looking at. I think there's a couple, a couple of different projects I was looking into. Uh, so there was. Not that one, it was this one. I was on one of the stitching groups and I'm trying to find that was it. Uh cross stitches freebies ir original group. I was on that group the other day and somebody was asking about gnome stitches you know garden gnomes does anybody know of any patterns or anything like that that's out there and one of the recommendations that somebody put on was a pattern that Doreen Jones had designed I'm trying to find what date was it back in 2000 it was this one you can just see the gnome uh, I think they're coming. you can just see the gnome there at the bottom and it's a springtime um like i said it's an old stitch i think it was 2000 um so yeah i'm hoping that will be a nice springtime stitch to start um, and there was also another group that I'm in cross stitch south excuse me how rude cross stitch sows and somebody had posted that there is a new style sal uh, a new sal starting it's a gamers one a retro gamers one and the first drop that i saw was a uh, duck hunt it was an old Nintendo game and like I say the first drop was that one and if you go on to www.pixelpatterns.uk and sign up for their emailing letter if you sign up for that you will get it sent by email um yeah it's um let me just read it um it's a lady called emma turner that's posted it and she says i am doing a sal over on my website from the 2nd of april it's completely free it's going to be based on retro computing games if you would like to sell, then head over to my website and sign up for the newsletter. So go over to www.pixelpatterns, all one word, dot uk. And if you sign up for the newsletter over on there, 
you will get the pattern sent um, let's see get into my emails and possibly show you the picture Pixel patterns. Um, they send other stitching projects and things like that. So this is the Sal part one. So it's Duck Hunt. It's the uh, dog that um, yeah has the gun in its hand and it's the Duck Hunt. So that's the first drop. So like I say, that was what did it say on the email? The first of every month. Just double check. Yeah, I think it's the first of every month. It's a four part stitch along, so I think it is a monthly. Yeah, last week I released the first of our four parts of the stitch along. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, so that is another two that I've been looking into. Um, I think I'll probably just save the emails and, um, yeah, stitch the pattern when... Uh, I finish a project because I've got the mermaid I'm working on, I've got the two peppermint purples, I've got the Disney cross stitch, um, I didn't bring that up, oh no, I have finished half of Daisy Duck, so I finished her purple top, I've done the white for her face her body and her arms and have done the pink for her shoes and her bow i forgot to bring that up i thought i was missing something yeah so i need to get the flosses and things out for the second half of daisy duck so finishing her details and then there'll be the floor and her frame to do and then starting Pluto so yeah that's the progress on the Disney cross stitch I completely forgot to bring it up with my head up yeah it was downstairs I was doing a little bit of it downstairs also progress is coming on the secret project um i've got the three main letters done and then i just need to finish off the lowercase wording um but yeah that's uh going really really well but like i said i know the person watches these videos so i'm not going to say um so yeah like i said that's another couple of projects i've been looking into to start um going to be getting on with the mermaid some more and then possibly look at another silhouette pattern that came in the disney cross stitch there's like um a frozen themed silhouette pattern and because i'm really liking doing the uh, mermaid and the 
silhouette effect. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, really, really enjoying that. So that might be another next project to start. And then when we probably get into the summer break or when the weather starts getting warmer and I can sit out and stitch, I might start the spring one, the gnome and the hair and the hedgehog and rabbits and the flowers and yeah probably start that one and I might even see if I can free, free up a box or something to store that in so it's easy to take in and out and like I say the warmer weather and I'll be able to sit out and stitch <laughs> being the uh, proper sunlight and the fresh air outside in the garden but I'm going to start waffling now and let you guys go because I've been uh, going for about 20 minutes <laughs> but never mind I like uh, I like to keep you guys updated and give you all the information on what I've been looking into and uh, my progress and new upcoming things and but like I say, I'm going to stop waffling and let you guys go. So remember guys, in a world where it can be anything, be kind. Bye guys.